Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Spike Slayer. I get a lot of questions on how to get DayZ mod for Arma 2 going here in the year 2020. So what we're going to do on this video, we're actually going to go step by step on how to get the launcher and make sure that you launch the games properly so you can actually get the game running. You at least have to have Arma 2 and Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead to be able to run the DayZ mod. And the best way that I can tell you to get it in the cheapest way is to use my instant gaming link that will be down in the description. You can get it for, I think, about five bucks total, and it's the complete package. So you're going to be bringing up the instant gaming once you click on the link down in the description. You're just going to go over here. If you look right here, you have the Arma 2 Complete Collection. It's $4.67, and it has everything you need, every single DLC. So what you want to do is go up and buy that. Now, once you have bought that, claimed the keys, you've downloaded every single one, what you want to do is open up Arma 2 first. You want to make sure to open Arma 2 all the way to the main menu. And you want to do this for at least Arma 2 and Ar Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead. Okay, see, so right when you get to this main menu of Arma 2, what you can do is go ahead and just exit out. Next, you want to do the exact same thing for Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead. So just find it in your Steam, wherever you downloaded it, and just click play. And just like with Arma 2, the regular one, you just want to get to this menu. And when you're done with that, click exit and go ahead and get out. If you went ahead and got the complete collection, I, su I would suggest go ahead and do it to the Arma 2 British Armed Forces, Private Military Company. And just, I, I did it for everything. The Anniversary, Cold War, Gold Edition. I did it through all of those to the main menu, just so nothing messed up. Now, once you've done that, you're going to want to click in the link in the description for the Daisy Launcher. It'll automatically take you to this page here. So what this is, is the DayZ launcher for the Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead. So when you have this running, you can download all the mods, view all the different servers, and the only things you have to download are through this mod itself. So you're just going to scroll down here and click the Download Now button. But I already have this installed on my computer, so you're just going to click Next. If you want a desktop shortcut or not, it doesn't matter on that. Just press Next, and then you can press Install, and it'll automatically install it onto your C drive. I highly suggest you run Arma 2, Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead, and the Daisy Launcher on your C drive. And once you get that done, you can go ahead and launch the Daisy Launcher. And it'll look something like this. This is my favorites tab, but it'll look like this. If you look on the far right side, you'll have this play arrow. That means you have the mods needed to play that server in that version of the Daisy mod. See if I scroll down. Yeah, see this one right here. This one needs the, the Namalsk. This one's Namalsk, and I don't think I have this one downloaded, so if I press this button, it will go ahead and start downloading them also. You can also check that into the mods list right here. And I'll show you which ones you have downloaded. See, I have regular DayZ download, DayZ Epoch, DayZ Overwatch, and I have the uh, Origins mod downloaded. And if you want, you can just subscribe to every single one of these, so you can join no matter what server that you want to play, you can join it. Once you're in the DayZ launcher, you want to go to settings and make sure you have your downloads path. It should automatically be set to this right here. But what you really, really want to make sure that you have is your Arma 2 settings. So you need to find out where Steam installed your Arma. Usually it's going to be Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then Arma 2. And that's pretty much it. Once you have this set up and everything done, you just go find the server that you want to go to. I want to go to DTA, Daisy Over Park, and the Nap map. I really like this one. And when you launch it through here, it will do a bunch of dings and beeps and pop-ups of Steam. You can just click OK on all of those and get them out of the way. Once you see these check marks loading, your game is loading. And as you can see, we are in the server that I picked. And it will give you an error. I'm not 100% sure on these errors that pop up. But once the error pops up, you just click OK. Okay, so here's the error. There's no entry. It's telling you about the CFG weapons. Sometimes it's different. It may be a completely different on your end. But you just press continue, and it's all good. And now we are in Daisy Mod on Arma 2. And if this, if this video helps you, make sure to leave a comment down in the description and share this with your buddies who want to play Arma 2 DayZ in 2020. And if you really did like this video, make sure to hit the like button. It really, really helps out the videos with YouTube's weird algorithms. And if you want to see some more Daisy content, I do stream on Twitch. The link will be down in the description. And if you want to see some more content on here on YouTube, make sure to smack that subscribe button and the bell. And we'll see you next time. Good luck, survivors.